Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. On this video, I'm gonna show you how to move from Android to iOS using the Move to iOS app. I have an Android Pixel 4a at my left and I have the iPhone 12 mini at my right. So the first thing you need to do is if you have an iPhone like this that is already set up, you need to reset it. So let's do that. You're gonna go to settings, general, scroll down, and look for reset. From these options, you're gonna select erase all contents and settings. If you have a passcode, enter the passcode and you're gonna click erase iPhone. In case you are signing to your iCloud account, the iPhone is gonna ask you to sign out, okay? In my case, I already signed out, so that's why they are not asking me to do it, but just in case, all right? And here is gonna be erase iPhone. You need to have a backup before doing this. They're gonna confirm. Do you want to erase the iPhone? Yes. Now, this is gonna erase the iPhone, all the contents and settings as if it was new, okay? So be careful. Some people are not gonna have to do this because they probably just bought a new iPhone. So the iPhone is gonna be ready to move. So the iPhone just finished uh, resetting. So right now it's like if we have it brand new, we're gonna just move forward until certain point. I'm gonna tell you where, all right? So you're gonna click English, United States, you know, the quick start, we're gonna put set up manually. You do need to be connected to a Wi-Fi. The phone is communicating with the Apple servers to make sure that this phone is ready to set up. It's checking if the phone is locked with any company. It's checking if the phone is blacklisted. That's why it took a little bit, all right? So date and privacy, we're gonna click uh, continue. Face ID, we're gonna set it up later. Passcode. We're gonna skip it, don't use passcode. Don't use passcode. So this is the screen that we need to have in order to use the app Move to iOS. The option that we're gonna select is Move Data from Android. We're gonna click on here, Move Data to Android. If you have an Android phone or tablet, you can transfer your photos, messages, and more to this iPhone. Download the Move to iOS app on your Android device to get started. So we're just gonna leave it like that, all right? On my Android, and I do have the Pixel 4.8, which is a really great phone and affordable, we're gonna download the application. How can we download an application? You go to the Play Store and you search for it. In this case, it's gonna be Move to, and you see the first result is already Move to iOS. Okay, so this is the app that we need to download. We're gonna click install. By the way, you can only download apps if you are logging to your Google account. So we open the app called Move to iOS and we're gonna follow the instructions. Use this app to copy messages, photos, and more from this Android device to your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So that's what we're gonna do. We click continue. We're gonna read all the terms and conditions and if we are agree, we're gonna click agree. And it says, allow move to iOS to access this device location only this time, okay? Only this time. Allow. Allow move to iOS to access your calendar. Allow. You need to put allow to everything because the app needs that permission in order to transfer data. So allow move to iOS to access photos and media on your device. Allow. Allow move to iOS to send and view SMS messages. Allow. To continue, turn on device location. So that's what we need to do. We're gonna go to settings and we're gonna turn on use location. All right. So we're gonna go back to the app. Before that, make sure you close all the previous applications, okay? So we're gonna go back to the Move to iOS app. It says, find your code. It says, if you don't see a code on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, make sure you are in iOS Setup Assistant and have selected Move Data from Android, okay? So we're going back to the iPhone, and in this case, it says Move to Android. We're just gonna click Continue. So once we see this code, we can enter it here. So here, we're gonna click Continue. We're gonna enter the code, right? 803128, and it says Continue. Connect to device, I'm gonna click connect. It says authenticating and now it's preparing to move. Now it's gonna ask you, what do you want to move, right? The Google account, messages, camera roll. That's the only thing that we have on this phone for now. If you have more things, they're gonna appear here. But in this case, we only have this data on the Android and we're gonna click continue. And now we're doing the move to iOS. 
in this case it's doing it really fast because I don't have a lot of data look it's pretty much complete transfer complete and it says recycle your Android device we don't want to recycle it because we're gonna keep using it we click done and we are finished on the Android and it says transfer complete okay continue setting up your iPhone now they're asking me for an Apple ID if you don't log into an Apple ID you cannot download apps so let's do it log into your account okay click next next and they're gonna ask you for two-factor authentication a message has been sent to and they send me a phone number right all right so I got the code and I enter the code that they asked me for and now it says term and conditions click agree and we are gonna set up the iPhone order passcode for order iPhone enter any passcode that you have on the previous account so here instead of express settings we're gonna click customize settings keep your iPhone up to date continue location services uh, I will say disable services for now Siri I will set setup later in settings screen time set up later in settings phone analytics I said don't share True Tone display right now is using True Tone. This is without True Tone. You can change that later. Continue. Appearance we're gonna select light. Display zoom I'm gonna select zoom because this is a really small iPhone, only 5.4 inches. So continue. And it says welcome to iPhone. Okay. Let's see. So where is the where is the stuff from my Android device? Yes, it actually moved. Because I didn't show you that, but let me show you. I have the following videos and pictures. So I have some pictures and videos on this Android and they already move here. You can see it by going to the phone app. But before doing that, let's uh, put more brightness click and hold it and take out the true tone okay I think it's gonna be better I did move my videos and my pictures from my Android device to the iOS to the iPhone mini 12 so that's great what else how about a context how about the apps where are the apps I don't see the apps right okay so what happened is we need to sign in to our Gmail account we go to mail mail and we're gonna add an account so we have this gmail account already it's asking us to re-enter the password right so we're gonna enter the password I'll take you to the browser for you to enter your password and that's perfect okay that's the account so now I have all that but I still don't have, hold on one second. I still don't have my apps because I'm looking for WhatsApp because I do have WhatsApp on my Google account. So the question is why it didn't move? 